guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for a number one issue this week from all new Marvel Now. Very anticipated issue, I guess, and as New Warriors issue one. It's an anticipated series for me because I do like the roster a lot. Um, and I, I like them in Nova, I like Scarlet Spider for the most part, and uh, I was pretty excited for this. But before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a little update. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 36, and that is a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. Here are those comics. We got Morning Glories, issue 37. Green Lantern, New Guardians, issue 28. Seekers of the Weird, issue 2. Animal Man, issue 28. And then Nova, issue 13. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, episode 36, which is annotated. Um, and guys, also want to mention a couple other videos on Comic Frontline that I will have annotated. Uh, we have all our thoughts on Fantastic Forecasting, including my thoughts on the Fantastic Forecasting. So that will be annotated uh, as a video. And uh, also Media Madness started uh, Wednesday. So we did a whole commentary on Ghostbusters. If you want to go check that out, you can. Uh, we gave an overview in the last half an hour. So if you want to just check out the overview, you can do that also. Uh, and next week we're uh, doing Media Madness on Team Wolf Season 1, Episode 1, and Season 2, Episode 1. So you definitely go check that out. Uh, and subscribe to Comic Frontline if you want to check out all those live shows and fun things happening on Comic Frontline. Uh, but be, yeah, let's talk about New Warriors then. Check that all out. It'll be annotated. Um, cover's cool. I've been seeing this a while. I don't love the white background. I usually don't like white backgrounds because it just kind of blends in. It's so plain. Uh, in all these different colors, I don't think it fits with a white background. So, don't love the cover, but it's okay. You know, uh, I'm still looking forward to this series. So let's see if I like the issue. Uh, so in this issue, we get an introduction of most of these characters. And that's it, really. We get to see a little bit of their personalities. They're here and there. Um, you know, uh, the people are trying to making the team is Victory and Speedball. We all know what happened with Civil War. They reference that as like, well, we want to build up the team and get a reputation again. Uh, if you didn't read Scarlet Spider, Scarlet Spider is now with Arsley in, uh, in Mexico. Scarlet Spider does not want to be a hero after everything that happened to him in uh, Texas. Uh, Victory meets these devil type people in New Salem. I guess they're going to be part of the team also. Uh, and they're all fighting against these random villains that they're all encountering. And that's it. Uh, and that's it, really. They're, they all find these villains. Nova's also there, and he finds those villains too. But Nova's already part of the New Warriors. So I don't think they needed Nova to be by himself, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this wasn't that great, <laughs> honestly. Um, nothing really happens. Uh, you know what it really reminded me of was a series like when Spider Girl ended, when May Mayday Parker's series ended. Um, there's a new Spider Girl series that came out with Arena. Uh, and she got her own team called Young Allies. Totally reminded me of that, where they're, they're gonna take forever to get this team together. Uh, and then once the team's together, once the series is actually good, it might get cancelled. Because nothing actually happens as the team's coming together. They're fighting this unknown creature, but there's nothing interesting about these characters. Which, these characters are actually pretty interesting, but they're not really showing it. Um, I thought it was just very cluttered this uh, this issue. Uh, there was no risk that felt so bad. Um, I didn't care that Victory and Speedball went to New Salem. I didn't care about those characters. The only characters I cared about were characters I've previously seen in other series. So this issue did not make me care about the about the characters. Uh, the detail also for the art is a little plain for their faces, especially since we got pretty good art for Scarlet Spider. This is very plain art, um, even though I like the cartooniness of it, like uh, this page is pretty good. So it's a little on and off, it's okay the art, I wish it was a little bit better, but something I could live with if the story was better. Uh, but very cluttered issue, uh, too much going on, the characters are all over the place. Uh, I gotta give it two and a half, it wasn't that great. I'll pick up the next issue or two, but if it doesn't improve, I'm gonna have to drop it. Even though I like these characters, um, I could see this really failing in the end, just the way they started this. It, it, it was very unorganized. Um, so yeah, and, uh, with Christopher Yost, Yost, however you pronounce his name, um, usually he hits a home run or it's like, eh, and this is so far, eh. Hopefully he hits a home run with the next issue or third issue, because after that I'm not going to give it a try. I think this was a very weak issue, so very close to being my pick of the, uh, I mean, worst pick of the week, but someone else came out. It's always bad, so... 
That'll be on Comic Uno episode 36, so you can go check out what my worst pick of the week was. But this was very close. I just didn't like it. Um, very disappointed. Um, so, two and a half. Tell me in the comments below what you thought this Comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.